Sigma Man Diaries Podcast. Let's get on with it, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. We can relax, 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 have fun, have fun, have fun, get a good get laugh, a good laugh, 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 good information, good information, 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 and enjoy the enjoy show, the show, the show. I, I, I mean, you do what it do, baby. Sigma Bell Diaries. Hey, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy, King Nigel. And I am the host of Sigma Male Diaries Podcast. And please remember to follow me on YouTube, follow me on Stitcher, Reason FM, Google Podcasts, Apple Music, Amazon Music, or I would say Apple Podcasts. Also, hit me up on Red Circle and the cast. And I'm also on, there's one more, and I know I'm forgetting it, Spotify. If I didn't say Spotify... Hit me up on Spotify. But today, ladies and gentlemen, rather this this evening, this early a.m., this late night, you know, going into Sunday morning, I was just sitting back thinking on how men go through the stages of building themselves up. They're going from being average guys to, you know, valuable men to high value men, right? And when you come to the terms of the dating market, right? And trying to figure out where you fit in, the type of woman you want to vet for a wife. You know, because it's a difference when you're dealing with athletes, when you're dealing with street dudes, trap boys, um, club promoters, uh, guys that's in the entertainment industry, guys that's in the music industry, guys that's in, you know, their actors. You know, all these other things, they, they differ in the type of man that you want, especially when it comes, you know, to this guy having to put in a lot of hours. Okay, somebody's coming in. Let me see exactly who's coming in to join my... Good evening, Nigel. How you doing? I'm doing great, bro. How you doing? I just noticed your question. Are modern women too masculine for successful men? It's kind of a dual-edged sword question, in my opinion. Because a lot of times I feel that modern women want power, but they also want to follow that someone they can trust and rely on. So when it comes to successful men, you know, what got them to success, how it's measured, don't know. But can they actually care, provide and protect and not just have someone by their side? I think that's really, really what it points out. A lot of women who want to take part in men's roles tend to find out they don't like it in the long run. They don't like leading. They don't like, they like the power, but it it can be toxic, you know, in my opinion. Okay, that's a great opinion because I agree with you in every aspect because, like you said, when, when it comes to the providing, the protecting, the leading, you know, they do want to lead. However, they don't like it. You know, they become reasonable and everything. You know, then it comes to the terms of, you know, dealing with the masculine energy, competing with the man for, for roles, right? Because modern women, they have this ideology that role reversals are okay. But that, that doesn't apply to alpha males. It may apply to beta males in well, the sense. I, I don't know if it's about alpha males or, or just males in general. Um, I think it's... I think when we start classifying men as beta, alpha, and so on and so forth, that can be problematic because we're coding. It would be the same to to code them, you know, um, what would be an alpha female and a beta female, and how could it actually apply to how people connect and how they make mutual relationships, or are they just making postures uh, to gain more assets? Okay. So, yeah, well, in my opinion. The reason why I state that, because most women, they look at, you know, alpha males, right? This is what they say. You know, alpha males, you know, they these modern women say, hey, I want an alpha male. I don't want a beta male, you know, the good guy. You know, I want somebody that's going to keep my attention. I want to have some fun. I want somebody that's going to keep it exciting, you know, and stuff like that, where they look at beta males as men that's not able to lead. You know, they cater. They don't have a backbone. That's how the women look at them. 
And that is the definition of a beta male. And, uh, I think a lot of times that, well, in today, I mean, I'm 49, so. Yeah, I'm 45. What yeah. I see, what I see men and women in younger generations, it seems like the younger men are disinterested in having a woman, even as a partner. Right. It's kind of like transactional. And I'm even seeing women act, young women act that way as well. Mm-hmm. But yet they they tend to want like I've seen a lot of younger women who want to date older men because they have their shit together. They're right. more balanced. They're more patient. Right. They're not treating things on the surface as transactions. So I think it comes down to, you know, one was is how many young men are balancedly raised. You know, are they balanced in feminine and masculinity? You know, do they understand, you know, the roles in which we play within our cultures, our societies, um, right. our physicality, our spirituality? Um, a lot of people are questioning things that they don't understand right. themselves. So, yeah. Um, but the traditional role is actually put down by a lot. But I heard someone speak in a lecture just recently how the paradigm shifts is also f- forcing um, the feminine to take on masculine roles because the hormones are changing from their food, um, their stress levels. Um, men tend to be, in my opinion, more quiet and more reserved before we just argue or say anything out of our mouths. Right. Traditionally, that's the way I grew up. Right. Um, males in my life, they didn't they didn't say a lot, right? But when they said something, it was something to either learn or something to use. There you go. And I, th- I think one of the biggest problems for young men today is gossip. <laughs> Your idle gossip, idle conversations, uh-huh. are the devil's playground. When you're doing something right, as I've heard it, the devil comes for you more. Uh-huh. When you're doing something wrong, the devil don't give a shit. Right. It's it's pretty that simple to me. Mm-hmm. True. That is true. And so, yeah, and, and I've seen uh, that too. That's all I pretty much. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen that too with the younger generations, especially in, you know, in the community. I'm in the African American community, you know, because a lot of those guys are raised by single mm-hmm. mothers. And a lot of those women are under a lot of stress from working, trying to maintain their, their families, trying to provide for their families, and sometimes picking up a second job. And, you know, especially if she has sons, though, right? Those will be the guys who were here because, you know, she doesn't have a man. She don't need a man. She don't want to depend on the man. She's in fear of having a relationship. Thinking it's going to go bad because she grew up in a toxic environment, had dysfunctional relationships, you know, a lot of things. But she will, in fact, confide in her sons and or her daughters. And that's that's how all that stuff starts. Or that's abuse why. their sons, yeah. mentally abuse. Yeah, like talk boys. down on them. You know, you like your father, you're not going to be anything. And you know, these guys and these girls, these young women have to grow up listening to just one side of the story. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So when the guy is in a constant environment where he hears a lot of bickering, a lot of complaining, I mean, that's going to grow on him. And then that's the type of woman he's going to try to help when he as he gets older. Because he realized, well, I don't want a woman to go through what my mom went through. Or he might even take on, you know, the responsibility of being a stepfather. Because his mother struggled. He called himself being a better man than his father. You know, he's not too concerned about establishing his own legacy. He'd rather carry on someone else's. But men like that lose in the end. Good guys, they never win until they turn, you know, until they get hurt and become these bad guys. And then that's when the girls start to complain about these dudes, you know, being F boys, fuck boys. You know what I mean? Right, right. I mean, there's a lot of things that that I think ruin men, and there are things like pornography um, that I think ruin men's masculinity because they're how they identify to attract another female or approach a female or what to do with a female is wrong. all wrong, right. in my opinion. Yeah. Um, you know, like trying to be the knight in shining armor. There you go. Uh, excuse me. Excuse my language, but that's just fucked up. I'm a knight in dirty armor. I've been through battles. I don't, ain't no shining here. Right, no sugar coating, so, nothing, so, catering. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> experience, experience speaks the precedence. That's that's true. I, I agree. 
I agree. But one thing I will say about women is, is how I respect them is they, like I have a great woman next to me and she is considered to be my great counsel. Mm -hmm. We do talk and she gives me the other perspective and she tells me, babe, you need to lead, but I will, you know, give you, you know, some of my mind. And I always listen before I ask her a couple simple questions. One, am I just listening? Mm -hmm. Two, am I listening to respond? or you're just ranting right let me know because I don't want to step on your toes or be impulsive but if you need me just to listen all right you got 10 minutes for me to exactly listen and they hate that because I'm like no for you to write a 10 minute speech is a lot so <laughs> if you're not concisely thinking about what you're going to say and why you're going to say it direct then, you know, then here you go because when I need to say something here you go. Here's right. my finer points. If you got questions, here you go. It is. That. And it works in my relationship for the most part, but there are times it doesn't work. There's times where it's like, okay, it's a power of negotiation. Okay. Let them show themselves and their emotions and what they want. And sometimes you don't need to respond for a while. Sometimes I take a day or two. It's like, you know what? You said some things the other day I need to talk to you about. Right. And I just couldn't give you an answer right then. Right. But see, that's what counsel is. You know, it's you taking time to divulge the information and not just respond to it just because your ego got struck or they ruffled your ruffled your shorts a little bit. You know, it's like, no, exactly. you got to you just you, I think the greatest asset to men is for us to learn patience and not respond so easily. Right. Because that keeps our metaphysical power in play exactly but once you start you start gossiping you start complaining with them you lose that's true <laughs> and definitely lose. true yeah yeah, yeah. Well, thank you jason now i just want to let you know man you know i advocate for men you know so yeah I, yeah when i mentioned i do a show and, called man to man okay cool and i remember to shout you out on my youtube channel you said man to man yeah um on my 72 the architect i've only made two ep okay two episodes okay i get you in there jason two episodes man to man i got you hey space what's up hey what's up what's going on bro how you doing well i like your um i like your topic here thank you i appreciate it well, what's, what's your and, uh, I kind of yeah go ahead no 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 what's your what's your for thing on here is the space I'm looking at okay how you pronounce that Lucador space Luchador or Luchador Luchador okay yes gotcha all right all right you can... so I agree with I agree with both of you on certain things um uh the question is good it's uh, are women are too masculine for successful men uh, I don't think a woman can can be masculine. You know, if a woman's a woman, she's a woman. That's it. She can mimic the supposed masculine, but that can never be. I think the actual problem is a men are becoming feminine. That's the actual problem. <laughs> and um, I could prove it. You could just you could see by. Um, um, and I don't know if you uh, you have experience with this. Have you, you ever heard guys speak nowadays? Yeah. And you can basically point out all the little things that sound how women talk. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like victimhood. Yeah. Like the 50-50. Uh, yeah. yeah. The, I that. Yep. <laughs> someone broke my heart. <laughs> right. Right. I mean. Accountability sucks. You're man. a guy. Right. Yeah, you know what I mean? You're a guy. You break your heart. What do you mean? Like, you made, just move on to the next one. Made a choice, right. <laughs> Deal with it. Accountability, you know I mean? right? Yeah. 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 And you just said it right there. It's all about accountability. Exactly. If if you as a guy, um, it, whether, you, whether you hold yourself accountable or not, the world holds you accountable. Everybody. Because the fact is, you're supposed to be a man. You know what I mean? Yes. So, if you... Um, if you, well, not you, you, but I mean, like as a guy, if you start acting, sounding or mimicking, mimicking mm -hmm. like a victim, mm -hmm. you could see how you cannot be the man. You just can't. 
<laughs> right, you can't possibly leave with all that in the way, though. You can't even be masculine yeah. if you're too stuck on how you hurt. That's that's like a feminine trait to me. Like, <laughs> with exactly. men. So, I mean, that's just exactly. our nature, man. It's not about love. It's not about emotions. It's about outcomes and results, right? And yes, exactly. See, you hit it. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to explain something to you in depth, though. I understand yes, what you're saying see. about some men when they complain, but I want you to look at it from this perspective, right? For men mm -hmm. that made themselves of value, right? For men who started from the bottom, I mean, working a nine to five to working 40 to 50 hours a week to finally starting their own business, right? And now these yeah. men are realizing their true value and understanding the options that they do have. Like, hey, listen, now that I'm making this type of money, you know, the women are flocking at me, so I don't have to deal with this particular group of women. If I have to deal with a woman from a different race or culture that displays more femininity, that's more friendly, that's more cooperative, that's more submissive. Yeah. Because when you deal with these women, and I'm gonna say this in colloquial terms, but these bad bitches or these boss chicks, and that's in colloquial terms, no disrespect, but that's what they call themselves. You know, I'm a boss, you know, I ain't gonna deal with a man unless he make 100K like me or more. Like that woman want to get with a man that's able to support her lifestyle or a man that's going to yeah. elevate her status. So when you see these men, you know, because the attitude does show, I don't need a man, effort in word, effort ninja. You know what I'm saying? And what a command can do for me that I can't do for myself. And the only way I get with a man is this, that, and the third. So now you're dealing with selective and conditional femininity. And that's the yeah. part that strikes, like provider males, that's what strike our chords. Well, well, check this out. Here's that's an illusion, and that's part of the problem. Mm -hmm. It's the look, I because I, I hear that a lot. Uh, the high value man, but how do you explain the poor ass man? The guy that they would um, consider low value or the average guy, yes. Well, see, the, yeah, the so called that, Chad, right? the Chads, right? Or the Henry's, they're, they're called Henry's, right? So, when you're dealing with yeah. the Chads and Henry's or the guys that's in the GQ phase, the guys that's in their 30s, that's yeah. deciding, hey, you know, I'm going to be a bachelor or rather I'm going to look for a wife, you know, I'm around 32, 35, yeah. you know, I'm about to hit my financial story. Well, here, here's the, the thing, years. Mm -hmm. this is the reason I, I brought them out because here, here's the problem it's the illusion that guys think that because you're high value right like you have money, matter. right it doesn't it's change the fact that you're still you're still going to deal with a woman the same way whether you're poor or what rich how high, high value mm -hmm. handsome mm -hmm. whatever it is whether you're buff not buff but ugly whatever it is you're dealing with the exact same creature the right. problem is as a guy right you believe you're high value you start not being able to deal with it because you think because you are, uh, let's say, you know, you're worth, uh, you're worth a lot of money. Mm -hmm. You think you weren't supposed to be disrespected in the first place. Ooh. So now you become a victim. You Ooh. See? Yeah, that's you take bad. it too personal. Yeah, that, that's that's real bad. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I mean? Yeah, yeah that's why you got to keep yeah, it so open. The, the more money you, mm -hmm. yeah, the more money you have, it's kind of like the higher you are, the harder you fall. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is true. I mean, and that's what it is. And, and the other guy. So you know, the less you true. have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's it's easier for somebody that doesn't have anything because you got to the woman having nothing. Right. So you see how you you would think, well, you're with me because of me, not mm -hmm. because of any other. Because people, of my money. You know what I mean? Go. There you go. Yeah, and the other and the rich guys think, oh well, you're with me because of the money, so you're supposed to respect me just because. But yeah. no, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? They actually right. Uh, they they respect you less because you're going about it all wrong exactly see what i mean exactly yeah and that and that's you know what that's the funny part because that's what i be posting on my facebook like i tell it you know person is just like yeah. this i have standards i have boundaries you know what i mean long as a woman displays you know respect and she's feminine you know all the other stuff i'm i'm cool but for yeah. me, I'm not about to be working like 90 hours a week and then I won't be able to have my peace because I have a nagging female who feels as if, you know, well, I need attention. I, I need more time. Right. You, yeah. you understand? So <laughs> it, it kind of makes it hard for any man, though, to, to, to actually find a, what we call a good woman because they all been through so much. <laughs> it's, it, you know what? It, it's actually easy. Yeah. And I like to say this on my channel. I like It's so easy that it's so hard because yeah. it's so easy. Uh, right. Let me explain how it works. This is how it works. Like, I like to deal with the bad bitches, like you said. Mm -hmm. I love the bad bitches. The harder they are, the harder, you know, the more I go for them because they're that hard, you know. So I, I realized a few things about them. One, 
they could say whatever they want. It's irrelevant. Right. <laughs> right. Because I'm going after her. It doesn't matter whatever she could she can she could say anything she wants. I already know what I'm here to do. My job. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. Forget about what she thinks or says. That's one of the things that I learned. The other thing that I learned is when you say things like that, I have boundaries. I won't do this for you, right? That's basically a challenge to them. Exactly. You see what I mean? Exactly. They're going to test you on everything that you said. It's kind of like when you get arrested. <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> um, when you get arrested, you know, the, the cop, he starts arresting you, right? Anything you say will be used against you in a court of law, right? Right. And that's exactly what women do. Anything you say will and we be used against you mm -hmm. right that's how it works and you know us guys we're always talking shit right <laughs> we're, always, we're always talking shit well i would do this right or i have this and so what do you think she's gonna do she's gonna test you to see if that's true what Ooh. you said is true well you know what that's how it works only only thing she can test is what she has to bring to the table <laughs> that's that's, <laughs> that's what the thing. i am yeah so like yeah, I feel where you're coming from. But the thing yeah, is this. She brings, see, this is the thing about the table. In all reality, and you have to accept this as a guy. This is the other problem. Mm -hmm. and, and I want I want to know what you think. Okay. And make sure the you only reason right you guys, cut off. Yeah, right before I... I'll, I'll, I'll uh, ask the question, then you, you can tell me later. Out. But here's the question. The only reason we show up to the table in the first place is because there's a woman there. That's Otherwise, right. I wouldn't be there at all. It wouldn't be a table. Right? That, that's true. Yeah. Because who who, who so would bring you can never ask the woman what she brings. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Well, so, well you know yeah, what, though? So what do, you, what do you think? No, I feel yeah. men should do it because women have a devil standard. If a woman says, hey, I don't want to date you because you're five six, and I like guys that's six foot. Well, you're holding some but remember what, man. Oh. But remember what I said. Mm -hmm. Remember what I said. It's irrelevant it's what irrelevant. she said. Right, 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 right. But for you're some taking guys, it at face value. No, 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 no. I'm talking about, for example, for some guys who may not understand the things that we're talking about, because I did agree with you. Yeah. And this is for guys like this on the average level. You know, that could strike a chord with his ego. But like you said, because some of the guys yes. are feminine. That, that's what I wanted to bring out. Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> so. So, yeah, when you when you deal in terms of, of value, rather a person invests a lot of their time. A lot of their effort, their energy, their attention, their financial resources, those things have to be accounted for. They have to be applied in a way to where that person does, in fact, get the things that they want or need out of that person. It's not so much as a desire, so much as a fantasy, but it's dealing with things, you know, in the logic terms of if you're going to enter my life, you know, I lead the relationship. I lead the marriage. I control the relationship. I control who yeah. my wife. You can just control who you sleep with. So, and I have yes. options because women outnumber men anyways. So that's another yes, thing. seven to one. So either you can get on my level or you could deal with somebody else where you would have to share. But here's the, here's the thing though. Here's the thing. This is what I, I this is what I try to explain to uh, guys in my, in all of my, uh, all of my stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's, you never say that to her though. <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah. That's the problem. The moment the moment you basically declare anything to a woman, it's a challenge. Right, but see, guess what? Women like that's the problem, though. That's why they don't like the good guys, because the good guys, it's like, hey, here's all the love, here's all the attention. No, I don't want that. I want Pookie and Ray Ray. <laughs> well, yeah, you know yes, what I'm saying? There's a way. Right, yes, right. Uh, so yes, it's perfect. like a catch 22. There's so, a way of doing it. Right. So, for example, they could reach out to a guy. She may like me, but listen, I don't got time right now. Like, I got other things I got to do. That lady would literally break her back, her arms and her legs. If that's the man she has in her sights, man, listen, it's hands yes. down. She going gung-ho. So when you put those things out there, you're test but you tell her what it really is. But now you're going to see if she's going to put forth an investment of her time, her attention. Well, her check, well, check, hmm? check this out. I'm going to explain that for you. Check this out. Okay. Have you ever thought of this or have you ever heard of this? Did you? Well, I call it. I call it the pussy radar. <laughs> you ever heard of that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this is the way it works. They, they, 
actually already know they feel what you're doing so i'll give you an example like let's say i, I have my girl right yeah and i say well i'm busy she already feels that i'm not busy i'm actually going to go see another chick <laughs> you see what mm-hmm, i mean mm-hmm. that's why mm-hmm. she will bend over backwards to see me because of that but right. it doesn't work if you fabricate it does exactly. that make sense no no yeah you're right because it's like, like there's some guys that while i'm <clears throat> busy the boy who cried yeah. wolf <laughs> exactly so they they already know what he you're made it. out of yeah. they know what you capable of exactly you see what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, and that's the secret cuz cuz the nice guys, the nice guys could threaten, you know, they could say whatever they want, but the woman already knows he's too weak to do anything about it. There you go. You see the difference? There you go. Yes, sir. So you could see, yeah, it, it, it's not about being the nice guy. It's more of she already knows what you're capable of and how far you can go. You see what I mean? Mm-hmm. They already know it. Well, you know what? That and, is, it's that so depends. hard for guys to look in the mirror. But listen, but that depends on the type of guy she used to dealing with. Now, if you're dealing with like all street dudes. Yeah, oh, trust me. Yeah, but when you start dealing with dudes in a different, that has a total different network, that's respected by a totally okay, well, different, here's the different thing. group of people, that, that's different. Yes, but, but but check this out. See, us, us guys forget what women do. Think oh, about yeah. this, okay? Oh, yeah. Uh, picture um, a woman that's a 10 to you, okay? Perfect woman. Okay. You know that she has to deal with every single guy she comes across. She, she has to deal with them one way or the other because yeah. they are all interested. Make sense? That makes sense. So they, they become experts at knowing exactly everything about us immediately because mm-hmm. they already know the key factor. They know we want her specifically. Right. And by her, everybody. Because she's a 10. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. So we forget about that. We, we're we like, well, yeah, you know, we, we have to do business and go to work and do, do this and do that. But what do you think a 10, uh, what do you think her day's like? Right. She goes to the gym. She could literally pick anybody from the gym. That's true. But you know what? Right? Yeah, but she's but only go, she's only gonna be a ten from the ages of eighteen to almost thirty five. So that is true. But, so but she only has out, here's the thing. she only has seventeen years to figure that out. Where men at the true. age of thirty five are just starting. <laughs> I mean, to really find wives. So she'd be too much considered a leftover, regardless of how pretty she is. It yes, depends on the, the type of man she's looking for. Like she's a ten, but another ten to make her look like an eight or a seven. Yes, but what you said is true. But they don't see it like that because they're living in the moment. No, they're living in a they fantasy. They could care less about the 35. You, they they, they could care less about what happens later. Right. But see, that's you the know. fantasy. That's that's the whole you can have it all. You're beautiful. It, it you is. You know what I'm saying? So when you fed those type of lies, you're going to live a lie. Now, you may think you know. The only thing you know about those men is that they just want to sleep with you. But you don't know the caliber of that man. You don't know his intellect. You don't know the level of yes, his but, charisma. Like any of that stuff. You know what I mean? You're 100 100- Yes, you're one hundred percent right. But what you're saying, in essence, however, it's too logical. For is them that you understand? <laughs> no, no, they understand it. The problem is this: you're trying to give them a choice. It's like forcing it. Does that make sense? Yeah. The, the, it's like me. Let's say, let's use me as an example. If you told me, you know what, you got five years before you basically become valueless, so you need to get a woman now. Mm-hmm. That's forcing it. You see what I mean? Well, yeah. So it doesn't work because what you're saying in essence is you woman settle down, right? You make the choice. You be you're, you're basically letting her or actually forcing her to make a choice, which is what they hate. They hate making the choice, no, which is why they, they look for a leader. No, but they hate hearing the truth. It, it's a big difference between no, making yes. a choice. They hate, they don't like hearing the truth. So they could they feel don't like hearing the truth. Right, so they could feel pressured into making the choice. But the reality is this. If you don't do something, if, you, if they don't utilize their most valuable years between the ages of I'll say 18 to 25. I would give them, I'll be nice and say 28. They can, they have, they, that's all they have. Yes. You know what I mean? Why those what, same what men, you, but why those same men are becoming more valuable though, they, they should go in the opposite way. 
You, you know what I mean? So yeah, they can. But that, that's but that's yes. Right. I know exactly what you mean. Right, right, right. What I'm so, saying here is like, look, chick, you, you're. Uh, it's the problem is this, look, because I've seen women that are, are over fifty and are still saying the same thing they would have said when they were twenty. <laughs> <laughs> it so it doesn't. You see what I mean? It, it doesn't to them. It's not their choice. Is what I'm saying. Right, right, no, right. And right. they'll you never control the relationship. You know what I mean? Marriages, right? Yeah, yeah. Because men control. But see, that's the thing. When women yeah. start to realize that men control relationships and marriages, though, like, see, that's the thing. That, that's <laughs> I understand what you're saying, but we, but in a, yeah. in the real world, though, that's why they lose. You understand? Yes, yeah, but but here we go. But here's the pro but the problem is still goes back to the problem is the choice is that. Yeah. Us got it's like what we're actually saying, you know, like when if you actually listen to what you said, it's still it's still you're trying to like kind of convince them to make the choice. Basically saying settle down when you're 20. Ooh, that's you see what I mean? early. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, but that's fine. I'll say at least 24 you're, you're, or 25. So women yeah, <laughs> women are going to uh, they're not going to listen to you because there's first of all they're going to be like who are you? Second, they're going to be like, "Well, why the hell should I be settling down at 20?" Right, because you know, you know, the, the women always say this, right? Yeah. Well, you guys can sleep around, and there's no right. Yeah, but and there's no problem. Yeah, but we don't lose value as we sleep around, though. Like it's it's a big yes. Difference. And they know they know that too. You know. But here's right. the problem: they're starting to sound like us. You see what I mean? But yeah, that's the real they, of the double standards. No, I understand yes, what but, you're saying, but, but see, yeah. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, all, all of that is is correct. You're correct. But they don't want to hear the double standard. Right. They don't want to hear the truth. Right. They well, want to live it. Well, that's, it's that's different. That's what feminism does to them when they when they abuse it. Now, I I I'm a, I believe I'm a feminist. <laughs> yeah. Now, I believe women should have equal rights. But as far as the role reversals and that fifty fifty in partnerships, <laughs> that'll never fly. You know what I mean? Because yeah, that is too it irrational. Never has that's it not never, the nature. Right? That's not how how we were created. And men built the world, and we can survive without women. Women cannot, and I would say this: women cannot survive without men. They need protection. They, they need somebody to lead them. Like they, they can't handle the workforce like a man. I mean, all that stuff. Even though men do the dangerous jobs, but at the end of the day, are they yeah, women? See, see that? See that thing you just said? Mm -hmm. That's one hundred percent true. But you, you forgot the little detail. Here's the little detail: we, we men can live without women. We can't, and we don't need them, but we don't want to. That's, That's the difference. That's true. No, no, I agree. <laughs> and, and we, I agree. Right? I agree. So yeah, we, I'll say that we want that. them. That's what we need to push onto men to to accept the truth. Here's the truth: us men want women. Yeah, but they Period. don't. But the women in certain communities don't Except want men. Person. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but you know, as soon as you learn what you have as as a man, power wise. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, oh man, it cut off. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what did you guys think about that? He'll probably come back in. I mean, are modern women too masculine for a successful men? Or I would say about this are modern women too too uh, masculine for men, period? You don't even have to be successful. You can be an average salary earning guy. Okay? I, I would generalize it like that. Are modern women too masculine for men? You know? Do, would they listen? Are they cooperative enough? Are they feminine enough? Chivalry, you know, respect, conditional femininity. Would a woman, would a modern woman respect a man that's in the same salary bracket as her? You know, those type I had, of things. I had, to, uh, I had to come back because you said something um, that uh, reminded me of something. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask you a question, all right? Let's, let's, let's do this scientifically. Check it out. Oh, yeah, I love that. Um, let's say you and me or scientist, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to give you, here's the mathematical problem. Okay? Yes, sir. If I was to tell you, and this is the truth, okay? Yeah. If I was to tell you that women, right, the masculine women, no matter how, the toughest woman you could ever find, when she comes across a real man, she's not masculine at all. Because she has conditional she act that way at all. Right, right, right. But see, that's what we call conditional. Because in order for me to be feminine, a man has to be this way. I have to see him. You but know, hold up. 
Okay. Hold, hold up before before we uh, and let's get back to the uh, the question that I asked. Okay. Here's the problem because it's a because it's a uh, what's that thing called where it goes in circles? Um, a, uh, continuation or run on or uh, you know uh, like the uh, paradox. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, because what we're saying is this: a woman is too masculine, right? But she immediately goes into feminine as soon as she meets a real man. So is she really masculine? Well, what's a real man? Or is it I just? Mean, no, or is there listen, a lack of? No, no, a no. man. Okay, I heard that term a lot. Real man. You see what now, I mean? Is I said I hear that term a lot. A real man. Now, is a real man a definition by that woman's standards, or is no. a man? I mean, I'm, I want to know what's what's a real man compared to a to just a man that a woman would respect. You know what I'm saying? Or is it a beta male that's not a real man, or is it an alpha male that's a real man? I'll give you an example because uh, this is what this is this is actually my expertise. Okay. Here's the example. Men you we we do things, right? We act tough or say things that make us look like we're tough. But inside, inside of us, the real us is actually controlling us in inside. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's a face. Remember I told you about P radar, right? Right. Oh, yeah, you can say that on my podcast. <laughs> All right, well, well, pussy radar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pussy radar picks up immediately what you really feel inside. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Yeah. So when, a, when I say a real man, inside he's a real man. So they feel it. So she goes immediately feminine, no matter how masculine she was supposedly was. But see, here's the problem. The, the paradox part is that guys don't want to accept that. Ooh. Right? Because we're walking around like we're big shots. And then when women are acting masculine, what would that say if my hypothesis is correct? Yeah, well, that would say that right? he's that not... That pose a, that question to you. Yeah, well, from, to me, that's not a real man, though. He's he's a chameleon. Right? Now, see, now, that so goes to... Would the, a guy accept that, though? Some men won't because in their minds, they want to be someone who they're not in order to be desired by a woman. Now, when you get to a exactly. social stereotypes, like for me, I'm a sig. They classify me as a sigma male because I'm an introverted alpha male. So in my sense, right. it's not like a gamma, a delta, omega. Like I was born this way. Like I didn't have any tragic experiences. I was always introverted, very intelligent, and smart. Right. So I kind of stood yeah. apart from the crowd analytical. I, I you know. Like right now, I own five businesses. Like I, I, <laughs> I do a lot of stuff, you know, from from law, um, from political science, yeah. you know, degrees, everything I know, you know, as a dual major and everything. So when when I look at certain things in life, see, I look at it from a a a how can I say it, an outward perspective, because it's not just me that wants something from someone; it's another person wanting something from me as well. So I know along the way there comes a point where there is going to be compromised whether it's me settling or whether it's me sacrificing something of myself to be with that person yeah if that yeah. makes sense it makes sense okay but, but, but here's it seems it seems like you 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 go back to um and this ain't an attack you know it's just no, no. an observation right right it, it sounds like uh, how do you explain will smith will smith is a millionaire mm -hmm. a movie star you would say he's good looking right in right. shape mm-hmm Yet to his woman, he's a complete bitch. Right. It's the only thing that explains why she treats him like him. Exactly. Like, like, like that, right? Yeah. Why he did the bitch slap her around the world. I did a podcast on that. Right? So it's not about <laughs> success. It's, it's not. Yeah. I, I, no, I did, a, no, I did no. a small episode. No. What, what I mean by the success part, right? The reason why I say that yeah. so much because, see, that's the inward man. A serious, de dedicated, determined, ambitious man. Now, when you take all of that stuff and you throw it away for a woman like Will did, that's the big difference. No, but that's the thing. But, yeah, but, but hold up, hold up. Here's the Sassy. Remember, I told you to 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 see it like scientifically. Oh, okay, yeah. Will Smith. You, you, I is still rich. That. Yeah, he still is rich, and he's still getting treated like he's still, he's still, getting he's still rich. rich. No matter how much money he got, that there, yeah, that's that's true. Yeah. But see, some men he's value still themselves. But see, that's the thing. A lot of men value themselves. He's still Will Smith. Right. That that's true. But see, for example, Will Smith doesn't have the same problems that Jay Z have. And, or he doesn't <laughs> no, but see, but listen, but he's still famous though. 
See, these men chose Jay-Z, different. Yes, Jay Z. They chose different women. See, well, here, it, yes, but here's the thing. Here's the oh, thing about Jay Z. Yeah, but, but see, look at the difference in the men, though. See. <laughs> yes, but uh, it, it, oh it, yes, but, well, this is the reason I'm going to tell you why because you got to look at. Remember what I told you scientifically. Now, what's the difference between Will Smith and Jay Z? Jay Z carries himself like a man, man, like all you know. You know. With Jay Z, yes, I mean, but Will but, Smith. <laughs> No, I, I but understand. He's but but ugly. It, it goes what you said about the woman becoming feminine for the guy because, but that that's the whole thing scientifically. Yes, you, that's that. Yes, but that is. That did is, you hear me? Did you hear what I said though? JC, right? <laughs> uh, uh, if, if he, he he look physically, JC, he looks like Joe Camel. Yeah, like Big and Faith <laughs> Evans. Yeah, I understand. Like Big and Faith Evans. You see right? what I'm saying? But here's the thing. <laughs> he. Be- he still has that behind him, right? See what I mean? Will Smith thinks he's a good-looking guy, and you know, it's probably been told through his how his whole career, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So he thinks he has a leg up over a guy like Jay Z, or even right? Because not only yeah, is he, ri- you know, rich and famous and talented, but on top of it, he's a good-looking guy. Mm-hmm. So, which is why, see the difference? Yeah. Jay Z can 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 be like, yeah, I'm a businessman, but he knows I, I that just, he did it throughout work. It was nothing to do with his good I, looks. I'm just gonna be honest, man. See what I mean? Yeah, I'm just gonna be honest. Will Smith, yeah, he's a fucking simp, man. It, it's a big difference when you compare a yeah, yeah. simp <laughs> for a provider male. I mean, to me, that that's like uh, that's like uh, Kanye and Kim Kardashian. Will Smith, they they're in the same boat. If you ask me, then. And Biggie and, and Jay-Z yeah. is in the same boat on the other end. So these are four men, and it's 50% respected. I mean, yes, you see it, right? Kim doesn't yes. <laughs> respect Kanye, and Jay no. doesn't respect Will. So scientifically, because- yes, you're correct. But far as how a woman look at a man for being an alpha male and a beta male, that matters. It and that matter, determines it- their femininity. I guarantee yes. you, if Jada was with Jay Z or Jada was with uh, Tupac, <laughs> that'd be a total different marriage. Because she wanted yes, Tupac. Because she settled in her mind for Will Smith. And he yes, worth three hundred and fifty yes, million exactly. dollars. And Jada net worth is only exactly. forty million. Yeah, that's sad. But no, but you hit. It's not about the money. It's you hit it on what you said. Uh, um, she settled for for Will Smith. That's what she said. And then Will Smith settling for. Yeah, she did. Yeah, because he and left. Will yeah, Smith is also settling for Ooh. her. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, after his divorce with his wife, then he got with Jay. <laughs> I mean, she crazy, man. Yeah, so yeah. you see, you see, it's a paradox. <laughs> it's a paradox that the only way that he, that um, the only person that could win is Will Smith, but he has to cut all that out immediately. Well, and he, just go into hiding until everybody forgets. All right. <laughs> No, he he actually loses. He emerges. He loses because of the divorce. No man wins. Oh yeah, but if you're looking at it economically. Oh, economically, yeah, yeah, right. Far as a person and his well-being, yeah, he wins. Far as his peace and stuff, yeah. As a as a person, a person could come right back if he knew how. Right. And and, the problem. But what he sees is that he once he loses it all, that's it. I'm done. Right. That's what. That's the way he feels. Which is why he's holding on for dear life <laughs> by the <laughs> threat <laughs> he I thinks he has to save it at all costs right and i wasn't trying to make this about success but i just try to bring it to the point to where how some women the respect level oh, yeah, yeah, differs yeah, yeah. based on you know income you, you know what yeah, i mean yeah, i mean you have to evaluate everything yeah 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 so everybody what, what, what do you think about that i'll be out here for about 10 more minutes i got a good hour in total but I do like the conversation so far. You know, I'm very open minded. I'm not going to say anybody's wrong. I'm not going to attack anyone. I take constructive criticism. You know, like I said, I do advocate for men. And I am a feminist. Like, I do believe and I do feel, I don't feel, but I do know that women are entitled to equal rights, period, all the way around the board when it comes to employment, like any type of lifestyle, except for like when you come into relationships and marriages. That to me, it's just not feasible. It will never be copacetic, and it's nothing of a ser- serendipitous nature for any man. He doesn't benefit in no way, form, shape, or fashion when it comes to murder women. So if anybody else don't have anything to say, I will end this talk on a good note. Thanks for listening. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't, 
follow me just follow me okay it's free it doesn't take much at all and this is your host nigel mcknight of sigma male diaries ladies and gentlemen have a safe weekend be blessed and enjoy the holiday and then that that ladies and gentlemen this concludes my talk my podcast some of you might like what i say then again some of you might not but i don't give a fuck and i really don't but thanks for listening ladies and gentlemen and this is your host on wisdom and your host on sigma male diaries nigel mcknight y'all stay safe and be blessed